Well, ATP greenhouses started about five years ago when we were doing farmer's markets. And in the wintertime, everybody wanted tomatoes. And we have a seasonal business of a golf course. So we started looking for a winter business to match with the, uh, with the uh, farmer's markets. And we talked to the extension offices and things, and they said, well, the best thing for wintertime is tomatoes. And the biggest expense in tomatoes in the wintertime is heat. Mm -hmm. And we fortunately had a natural gas well here, which helps do the heat. Uh, don't do 100%, but it helps tremendously. And then we started looking for a places to sell. Mm -hmm. And they said there's no shortage of places to sell in the winter time. So now, uh, five years later, we do all the Western's tomatoes. We do all the city schools in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And we do the three Kroger stores in Bowling Green that we started just about a month ago. So that's actually how it started. And you know, you guys didn't start small here. I mean, if you take a look around, there's a lot of tomatoes in here. Uh, yeah, we have 4,000 plants. Uh, we'll do anywhere from one to 4,000 pounds a week. Depends on the season and the, and the sunlight and things like that, you know. But yeah, that's a lot of tomatoes. And you know, a lot of people think, well, a tomato grown in the greenhouse doesn't have that same flavor as outside, but these do. Yes, they do. Uh, we also have what we call a micro mix that actually we put in our mixes and the micro mix is trace elements, which actually is iron, zinc, magnesium, and things that come out of the ground originally. So you get this tomato ripe on the vine and it's just exactly like an outside tomato. Actually, probably 75% of our customers like them better because they say they have a thinner skin and they're not tough like an outside tomato. And so I know everybody's mouth is watering because, you know, the garden tomatoes are gone. They want these tomatoes. Where can they get those? Uh, they can uh, probably get them at the farmer's market, like I said. Mm -hmm. uh, we do community farmer market on uh, Nashville Road, mm -hmm. right next to the Western store. Mm -hmm. And we also have started with a Kroger's about one month ago. Okay. So they'll be in Kroger's this winter. All right, and community farmers markets are on Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday Saturday afternoon morning. and Saturday morning, yes. All right, they can come out there. They can find one of these. They will not be disappointed, I'm sure. So Gary, this is a lot of work, you know, and there's a lot of time that's spent here managing temperature, soil, picking. Uh, why do you do this? That's a good question. Sometimes <laughs> I ask myself that. Uh, uh, but like I said, you know, there's a need for it. First of all, there's a movement in, uh, I, I think, the whole United States to get more healthy local products. And it's also a wintertime source of income for us. Uh, one of the reasons that we started this, my son said, Dad, you don't pay me very good in the, in the wintertime. I said, well, there ain't a lot of golfers in the wintertime. So we was looking for another source of income also. Uh, plus the, uh, the advantage of being local. People want local products, you know. They want fresh local products. So you mentioned your son. So is this a family operation? This is a family operation. Yeah, our son Michael and our, my wife Betty. Uh, we do this full time. I mean, you know, uh, one of these days I hope to retire and he take over totally. In fact, the business is actually in his name in, in an LLC, you know, so. And uh, that's, that's about it. I mean, you know, everything here is automated. The heat comes on automatic. The water system's automatic. Uh, but still, you spend a lot of time here. You know, even though it's winter time, you still have to, you still have a lot of work to do. I mean, you know, with 4,000 plants. Absolutely, and I, I know that it's a lot of work, and we certainly appreciate you doing this because, you know, growing up, we just didn't eat many tomatoes in the winter because they just no. weren't that great. But right. now we have that opportunity to be able to do so and support a local farmer. So it's kind of like heavenly how the two meet. So <laughs> yes, yes it is. certainly appreciate all the work that you do in letting us come out here today. Well, that's great, yeah. I'm glad, glad we can help a little bit. I mean, you know.